So interest rates are really low and inventory is also sparse. So on paper, you'd think that the market was going absolutely nuts, that buyers would be desperate, but that's not the case. The market is not booming, even though it looks like on paper it should be. Okay, my name's Ryan Lundquist I'm with SacramentoAppraisalBlog.com and let's talk through some dynamics in the market in the Sacramento area and I hope this is helpful. So the Mercury News in Bay Area put out an article a few months ago and I think this headline typifies what I'm talking about. It says the California median price sets a record, but home sales are weak. And so on one hand, we've been seeing some price stats. They look attractive, but there's more to the story because we're seeing this, this thread or this narrative of weaker home sales. And so uh, let's unpack that. So if I could describe the market in any way, I would say that it feels a bit normal right now in terms of stats. It's felt like a fairly normal spring. Um, it's competitive if it's priced right. You might even have multiple offers, um, not 20 offers, but you might have a few. Uh, if it's not priced correct, you are going to sit instead of sell. Uh, buyers are very discerning. They're extremely picky, not only about getting into contract, they're very picky about staying in contract, okay? Buyers will bail if something doesn't smell right, okay? Uh, very modest price growth, which I'll unpack, a slumping sales volume, which I'll explain, and there's really still an element of certainty, I think, that uh, hangs over the market. So uh, here's the median price in the region. You can see this cyclical trend every single year, this seasonal trend, and we've had a seasonal trend where prices have gone up this this spring. Not surprising because that's typically what happens in a market. But I think in the early part of the year, I think many of us were wondering, well, what's the market going to do? We've had this uncertainty with lower volume and we're not sure. Well, it's turned out to be a fairly normal spring, which is why I've been talking about normalcy. Uh, here's three different price metrics in Sacramento County over three and a half years. You can see the average sales price. You can see that seasonal vibe every year. The medium price in blue, seasonal vibe and uh, the average price per square foot. Okay, here's an, an important thing though. Here's the average sales price last month it declined, the median price increased, and then average price per square foot is flat. And so if you're only looking at one of, thing, one of these things, you might say, well, the market is going down or it's increasing or it's flat. And so it's a good reminder you got to look at different metrics to inform your perception of the market. Don't get stuck on just one thing. Okay, so here's the region comparing last year to this year at the same time. And here's the three price metrics. You can see the median price, average price, and average price per square foot. They're all up between about three and 4%. Okay, this is pretty modest growth because for years, I think we've been used to seeing about seven to 9% growth. And so we can see that price growth has really slowed and I'll show that in a, in a little bit too. Okay, but um, and these numbers are actually up compared to where they were, I think basically all year where we've seen more like two to 3% growth. And so the stats were a little sexier this last month, okay? Uh, Sacramento County, similar dynamic where they're up about three to 4%. Uh, inventory this year, is it up or is it down in the region? Well, I'd say technically it's up by about 15%. There's a, um, 15 more percent listings, sort of, okay? So technically, Listings are actually anemic. There's not that much on the market, but since sales volume has slumped, there's actually not as many sales. The equation for inventory, the relationship between listings and sales, it technically is higher. Okay, and so um, anyway, know, know that. Um, here's something important to watch, days on market. Typically in, in the summer months, it begins to take longer to sell. And then as the winter and spring unfold, it takes less time to sell. So here we are in, in a place where the market is uh, likely to begin to take longer to sell. Okay, we're in that season, but keep in mind around July or August, we usually start to see the numbers tick up. It takes longer to sell during those months, but keep in mind, these sales from July and August represent contracts from May and June. Okay, so the market right now is slowing. There's been a discernible slow vibe. We don't necessarily see it in the stats like days on market, but we will in the next few months. So keep that in mind, especially sellers. Uh, here's mortgage rates since the 2010s. What I want to draw your attention to is 2018. The market began to get really dull because rates increased from 3.75 to almost 5%. And so that that was a huge increase in a very short period of time. So 
no wonder why the market felt so dull. No wonder why buyers took their foot off the gas pedal and no wonder why we saw sales volume slump. But here this year, we've seen a more normal feel in the market as uh, interest rates have gone down. And so it just shows that um, what happens with rates can really impact things. So some quick takeaways with rates. Um, low rates have helped propel the market up for seven years. Low rates have changed the feel of the market this year and really added to a greater sense of normalcy. Um, that's not the same thing as health. Uh, the immediate future of the market, it's likely to be heavily influenced by the direction of rates. Okay, so typically rates don't historically drive the market, but right now the market is hypersensitive to rate changes because buyers have been struggling with affordability. OK, uh, low rates create less incentive to sell. Unfortunately, it keeps many sellers from listing, because why would you sell if you're sitting on a three and a half percent rate from years ago? All right. Lowering rates further helps. It, it feels like a temporary solution or a band aid on the wound of affordability and on our housing shortage. OK, it, it might get buyers into the market more. It might create um, a more aggressive feel, a more competitive feel. But at the end of the day, it'd be great to see the local economy and wage growth and the job market to drive the real estate market rather than maybe a temporary solution. So sales volume, let's check this out. This is one of the most important narratives out there. You can see June volume this year was 13 0.4% lower than the previous year. It's definitely a lower June compared to previous Junes. And the past year sales about down about 9% compared to previous years. All right, here's the region. You can see a similar trend in June and down about 10% this past year sales. Now, here's the thing. There's a couple takeaways. Number one, Look at the number of sales this past year in 2019, and you can kind of see that in 14 and 15, there was a similar level of sales. And so historically speaking, we've had a slower year. I'm not calling this a meltdown in volume though, because we're showing, I think, um, what we've seen in other slower years in terms of volume. Okay, now if this number was at 20,000 or 18,000, then I'd say, hey, we have a problem on our hands. The market has begun to do something else. But since we haven't seen numbers that low, I, I think that we have to call this a slower year. Um, and that's maybe intellectually honest. Okay, but you can kind of see that in the three previous years, we had 28,000 plus sales. And so it's a noticeable difference here. Now we'd say it's only down 10% compared to the previous year. But keep in mind, this means that we had 28,000 hundred less sales this year compared to the previous year and so that's a big deal okay that me especially I think a lot of real estate professionals are watching that that just means that it's much more competitive for you because you're fighting for uh, you know deals and there, there's a lot more people fighting for that and so sellers pay attention because this underscores the need to price correctly all right, so sales volumes down about eight and a half percent since January in 2019. So this isn't just something as we look at 12 months of stats, we go, well, last year was really slow. No, no, it's been something that's happening this year too. Okay, sales volume has slumped 14 months in a row in the Sacramento region. All right, so this means that compared to the previous year at the same time for 14 months in a row, we've seen lower sales volume. Okay, the truth is that there's an element of uncertainty in the market due to slumping volume, and it's just something we have to watch. Okay, and obviously I like Stranger Things 3. I hope you do too. So um, our price is really slowing down. Um, here's the last thing that I want to mention. I would say yes, momentum has slowed. And like, like I always share, my favorite analogy coming from Barry Habib, that the market was going 80 miles per hour and now it's been going more like 20 or so and you can kind of see this here's the rate of change the median price by year and you can kind of see it going down and so we've still had forward progress and the stats have been increasing but at the same time we go hey yeah the market feels a lot slower in terms of price growth this year okay um, past 90 days april to june of each respective year we see a similar trend where price growth has gone forward but it's been very modest this year compared to the rate of change that we saw in previous years okay the annual median price you can see this a similar trend remember there's about 26 to 28,000 sales in each respective year there's a lot of data to consider here and so to see that there's very modest price growth over the past 12 months that's very telling and it's a very strong trend to analyze and to watch okay and so it's okay to recognize that price momentum is slowing 
and that slow is not a dirty word in real estate. Okay, I find that sometimes sellers or real estate professionals, it's so easy to to want to hold on to a market that's more aggressive. But the reality is, is some markets are slower, some markets are higher, some markets are lower, some markets are increasing, some markets are declining. What we have to do is recognize what is the trend in the current market. And so it's so critical to recognize that price appreciation has been slower. Buyers are much more sensitive to paying the right price. Okay. And so it's just wise to recognize. But anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, you can check out my blog. I have a weekly post. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. But um, let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Thank you so much.